Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show to you how I make my thumbnails um, by using Canva Mobile. It is a very, very easy app to use. That's what I've said I already shared on my previous video that I use it for my live streaming. But um, since I started YouTube, I feel like I'm using Canva a lot. That's like my go-to thing for um, just backgrounds and just thumbnails. And it's very, very um, helpful and it's a lot of options to choose from. So I just decided to share to you how I do my thumbnail. <music> obviously we're gonna go to our phone and go to Canva the Canva app click that one and then the good thing about Canva guys is that you can literally use it for anything that you want I mean for any purpose like you can have an option to use it for Instagram post Instagram story logo flyer poster invitation social media or anything there's even an animated social media option that you can use it for. But since this video is solely for YouTube thumbnail, then we're going to go to um, the, we're going to find the YouTube thumbnail. So we're just going to find that one. I think it's in the very, very bottom. There you go. So we're going to go to YouTube thumbnail and then we're just going to click see all. And then since I like, like adding my touch to my thumbnail, so I love like, um, putting my own pictures and my own layout into it. So what I do is I'm just going to click the blank space or blank option or template, blank template. Then I'm just going to click the plus sign and then I'm going to I'm going to go to images and then I'm going to look for the pictures that I want to use. So I'm going to use this one. So let's say that this one um this thumbnail is for a wedding details like video that I'm posting on um, social I mean on YouTube so let's do that one let's just like resize that picture and then after that we're gonna um, go to the plus sign again then what I do is I go to shapes I'm gonna go to shapes and then I choose this square one because I can just change it to any shape I want or it can be a rectangle or something like that so I'm just gonna go and reposition that shape and then put it um, in a way where I want it so I'm just probably gonna put it here and then the good thing about Canva I already mentioned it before in my previous videos but the good thing about Canva is that it stores your brand colors brand colors is very very essential for me no in um in your uh, YouTube feed or in YouTube because it is like a way for people to really recognize your channel for me and if, if you go to my um, YouTube feed or to my channel you can see that my channel is mostly pink maybe a little bit of orange or a little bit of gray but it's like dominantly pink so there's a lot of pink in my channel because I love pink so much but yeah so it's just a way of like people to like really remember you when they go to your channel be like oh this is definitely Melody's channel because there's a lot of pink in it so um yeah it will save your brand colors so these are like some of the brand colors or the colors that i already used in some of my um thumbnails in my youtube videos so i'm just gonna click what um color i want to fill that shape in so maybe i'm gonna do pink because duh we love pink in this channel so we're gonna do pink pick that one and then you can see now that this that um shape is already filled so we're gonna after that we're gonna click the plus sign again then we'll start putting text to that shape so we're gonna put text and then add some text of your own and then let's say we, um earlier we said we're gonna do wedding details so type that one wedding details and then after that i use this like you can change the font or the color of that text that you just typed so i what i usually use is i use i use this one it's like a, i don't know how to pronounce it hussar bold i think that's how it's but well doesn't matter so i'm just gonna pick that one and then reposition this like kind of straighten these words out into one line and then um, change the color to white because that's just how the way I like it. I mean, you can change it a bit and I um, mean the way you like it, but this is just how I make my thumbnails. So, um, with the use of like two fingers, <laughs> this is how I reposition it on mobile. So, I'm just gonna like use my two fingers and then reposition it, and then you can even make it smaller. So, click that one and then make it just a little bit smaller so it will fill in that shape. And then, yeah, that's how it goes. And then, um, 
You can also add more words to it. So what I do is I'm going to go to plus sign again and then go to text. And let's say we're adding um, maybe let's say what's in my styling bag. What's in my styling bag? What's in my styling bag? And then we are just going to reposition that, make it in one line again. And then I love this one, this font. I use it too all the time. It's called Brittany, I think. Yeah, it's Brittany. And then I'm going to choose maybe gray for that one. And there you go my gray one and then with use of your two little fingers again just reposition it the way you like it what's in my styling bag oops <laughs> my phone's almost dead okay so we're just gonna maybe change that darken that a little bit so yeah that's how it is it's just very very straightforward because um for me um when you make a thumbnail you have to make sure that the, the keywords that you want your viewers to see should be emphasized and should be highlighted and um yeah it's just a very professional looking thumbnail very simple very straightforward very straight to the point so yeah this is just the goal of this um tutorial so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it and actually you can click this like download button right here and then it will um, kind of save it to your phone or um, if you can uh, if you if you want to have an option to you can save it in your computer as well so what the account that you have on your phone is like kind of connected to the account that you have on your computer so you can do the same thing too so yeah, it is just a very, very simple way on how you um, make your thumbnail very straight to the point. And then if you enjoy this video and then if you want to um, try how making and how to make your thumbnail using Canva, please tag me because I want to see your lovely work. And um, yeah, that's all it is. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And then if you end up liking this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be notified every time I post more video tutorials like this. I am planning to post more contents on how you can utilize the apps on your phone for better YouTube content. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in my next videos, guys. Bye!